Can you guess which of these parts was designed with the cutting edge technology in mind? We've come to Midlands 3D in stone to find out how they helped a customer take a third of the weight of their parts. So Paul, we're here with two iterations of a product. In my hand is the previous iteration, in your hand is kind of the, the new product, but they both do the exact same thing. But before we talk about the new product, yep. what was this previous iteration? What was it, what kind of process was it, was it designed for? So originally I think it was being done with CNC. So there's a lot of design considerations that are in there that made it possible with CNC. The main issue about it was weight. This is actually something which is gonna be carried by humans. There's a, a lot of electronics that go with it. It's actually a battery pack. Um, and there was two of these on either side of a big box of electronics. The key thing here is that th with being carried by humans, the weight was a big issue, so we needed to address that. And of course, manufacturing costs as well, because there's a lot more material in there than there needed to be. Now, looking at this, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of an engineer. I'm not that smart, but I do know that this wasn't CNC machine. What nope. process did you use to make both of the products? So we've used MJF, so using the machines behind us here. That's a powder-based process, so very limited, or no limitations at all on, ge on geometry, really. Um, which has given us a huge amount of flexibility to produce a, a functional piece that's ready to be used with very limited, uh, very little sort of requirement to work around a manufacturing constraint. But I'm just going to specify MGF is multi, multi jet fusion. Jet fusion. Okay, yeah. for people who don't know those from acronyms, HP. Yeah. from HP. Um, and the, the benefits of MJF is that you, you don't have that, you, so you don't have all these square features. You can kind of generally pick any shape you want. Literally any geometry. Um, you know, there's very few limitations with MJF, which means that we can literally look at the requirements that, uh, that of the part, in this case, weight, and some functional components. So we needed to put some inserts in, for example, some brass inserts. Um, we've needed to make sure that these this gridded area, for example, had a function of keeping cables away from the battery slot. Whilst maintaining that weight saving. Exactly. Um, and, and, you know, and we were able to just sit down and think about, well, how would we do this ideally without having to worry about any kind of design considerations, or, or sorry, manufacturing considerations. It's absolutely fascinating that you get people who would design a part like this, which would be designed for a completely different uh, manufacturing process, mm -hmm. but you can achieve so much more if you start to adopt these kind of newer technologies like MJF from, from HP, supplied by Matsura. Um, but I've got another question for you. Is how much weight did you manage to save so with we, this new design? We took about a third of the weight out of this. A third of the weight? Just, by, just by changing, taking away material that isn't really there for any purpose and adding features like this, we've made it about take about a third of the weight away. That's amazing. And if some of our viewers who, who, who uh, design products, who make products like these every day, if they're looking at this and thinking, oh my God, my product looks more like it, what, the older one in my hand versus your one. Mm -hmm. um, how much expertise do, do they need to design a part like this? What did you, I mean, who designed so the, the We new did version? that in-house. So we, the, the client came to us and said, you know, what could you do better? You know, here's the, here's the challenge. And we have an in-house design capability. Um, we're, of course, we know how the, the, the possibilities of what uh, MJF can do. So we were able to sit down, sketch out some ideas and, and really spot straight away the bits that didn't need to be there. Um, and the client was basically saying, well, do we need this? No. Do we need this? No. Okay, great. Well, we'll, we'll make that, those changes to the design for you. And we added a few components, um, even for, for manufacturability as well. Oh, sorry, assembling the actual parts. So there's some extra little features that we added during the manufacture of this or the design to make sure that when it all goes together, it goes together really smoothly as well. Just little clips to allow the circuit boards to be mounted properly, um, a little re uh, sort of spring retainers, that kind of thing, all part of, of the design that we were able to incorporate into the overall and again, still achieve that weight saving. That's amazing. From the outside, you wouldn't know the difference. No, it's the, the exact parts. same, look at that. So you, you're reducing the part counts as well, there's no extra inserts. Nope, nothing at all. And with the brass inserts in these little threads here, then you've got threads that will last a lot longer than necessarily the, the, the PA12 nylon would. E exactly, so they're, they're heated inserts. We, we have a service as well where we offer the insta installation of these heated inserts. Um, and then it makes the, the whole thing, you take it apart as many times as you need to, very robust finish, because again, it's solid nylon. So the moment they're in there, they're, they're held really well. So maybe you should be adopting brand new technology. If your part's looking like this, Maybe check out the HP printers from Matsura that can make parts looking like that.